New research is giving doctors yet another reason to urge parents to vaccinate their children. Two new studies say that when a child gets measles, they become more susceptible to contracting other viruses such as strep or chickenpox. The theory is that the measles basically wipes out whatever immunity you had already built up and resets your system back to when you were a baby. Now, joining us for more on this is Steve Elledge. He is a professor of genetics and medicine at Harvard Medical School and also one of the authors of the studies. So, Steve, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. How concerning is this? Well, I think this is really very concerning because we knew the measles was bad. According to the CDC, 0.2% to 1% of people who contract the measles die directly of the measles. Mm -hmm. What we found out is that the measles is even more lethal than what we initially uh, understood. It turns out that the measles infects your immune system and kills off part of it. And, um, and so basically it, it removes the memory of, uh, of your previous infection. So the knowledge your immune system has gathered over your entire life is damaged mm -hmm. and the immune system just forgets. So in a sense, you can be partially defenseless. Uh, how much immunity are you talking about here that's wiped away by the measles virus? Well, it depends on the child, but in a group of 77 children that we looked at before and after the measles infected them, this is a group in, in uh, Holland, um, it turned out that between 11% and 73% of your previous uh, antibody diversity is wiped out. And, uh, and it could be even more severe in some children. So um, it's a distribution. It varies from person to person. But we think that the people who have the most uh, severe uh, cases of measles actually have the most to worry about in the future because they may have lived through particular infections before but, and, and become resistant to them. But now they have to roll the dice and try to live through it again. Mm -hmm. And that's the danger. Um, so there's a loss of B white cells, from my understanding, that carry this immunity memory that you're talking about. Can they be replaced? And if they are, are the new cells as good at uh, fighting, defending against new viruses? It's not only the B cells, but a special kind of antibody producing cell mm -hmm. called a long lived plasma cell that lives in your bone marrow. These are antibody factories. And these live for decades in your, in your uh, body and produce antibodies to protect you. And they can't grow again. So if they get killed off, you have to re-educate your immune system either by vaccination or unfortunately by infection to get them back. We don't know the extent of how much damage there is because we haven't been able to look far enough down uh, after the infections, uh, but we'd like to do that in the future. But as it is, we know they're severely damaged. Now, are children uh, in particular at risk here if they contract measles, or can adults be equally as affected? Actually, adults can be equally as affected. And in fact, they have a little bit more to lose. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, our immune systems as we age are not as efficient. So that means when we do get measles, if we hadn't been vaccinated, we get the measles, we may have a more severe case. But secondly, we've accumulated a lot of knowledge in our immune system, mm -hmm. and we, are, we stand to lose even more. And mm -hmm. so it's bad for children, it's bad for adults, uh, and we really need to be getting vaccinated, not only for ourselves, but for other people around us who may also suffer from this. And one other uh, thing that we found out in our study was that the amount of antibodies just in normal people goes down over time because they were vaccinated you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago, and they haven't been rechallenged because of herd immunity, because no one's presumably coming into uh, interacting with people who have the measles. So your, your immunity wanes over time, and it's quite possible, and this needs to be checked out, that older individuals are actually no longer resistant to measles. And if that's the case, uh, they would need to be revaccinated. So we'll see what the clinicians think about this, but mm -hmm. people who are older who are going to areas that uh, measles is endemic to or live in a community with low vaccination rates should consider that as a possibility. Okay, thank you so much for all this information, Steve. My pleasure. Steve Elledge, Professor of Genetics and Medicine at Harvard Medical School on this. Thank you again.